Xenia is often simplified into the concept of hospitality, but it's actually a concept of, of mutual obligations between hosts and strangers. It, for instance, it was customary for the host to offer the guest uh, often a bath, but definitely food and drink before they even begin to question the guest on where they've come from or where they're going. In return, it was an obligation on the, on the guest to not be a burden, to not put ex uh, excessive pressures on the host, and to regale them with stories of their travels. Um, Zeus was the patron of, of guests, um, and so hosts who violate Xenia could expect to meet with his wrath. Xenia is a popular theme in much of Greek mythology and the early poetry and literature. Um, a, a host can signal their devotion to her and piety by treating their guests well. One of the firmest examples of good Xenia is in Book 6 of the Odyssey, uh, when Odysseus meets Nausicaa, who offers him a bath with her, with her maids and then brings him to her parents' house, at which point he is fed and provided with drinks. And in return, Odysseus is a very humble guest and sits on the floor rather than at their table and tells them all story, very interesting stories of his travels. They are actually such good hosts that they even, <laughs> they even offer him uh, their daughter's hand in marriage should he decide to stay. I can't think of a more hospitable action myself. Um, when he declines, they offer him help with his return journey. We can contrast this perfect example of Xenia with the terrible example set by the suitors who abuse the hospitality of, of Penelope and far outstay their welcome. And when Odysseus arrives at, at home, one suitor throws an ox hoof at his head, claiming it is a present, which should be a clear insult to Zeus. And the goat herd actually reminds him that, uh, that strangers are sometimes gods and that he may have offended a god directly, as this was a common theme in Greek mythology. This insult may in some ways uh, foreshadow their untimely end. However, by far the worst example of Xenia in Greek mythology comes from that of Tantalus, who, when as a guest of the gods at Olympus, stole ambrosia and nectar from the gods, uh, abusing Zeus's, uh, Zeus's own hospitality. Tantalus then offered his son Pelops as a sacrifice to the gods to test their omni omniscience. None of the gods fall for this rather disgusting trap except for Demeter, who was still distraught at the disappearance of her daughter Persephone, and who ate part of the body as she was absent-minded. This enraged the gods, and they sent him to the darkest part of the underworld, a place known as Tartarus, where he was stood in a pool of water under, under a tree, and every time he bent down to drink the water, the pool would dry up, and every time he reached for the fruit, the tree would grow and evade his grasp, leaving him perpetually hungry and parched. This is where the English word tantalize comes from and actually begins the curse of the house of Atreus, which we may cover in another video. Um, so always be nice to your guests or the gods will punish you and please like and subscribe.